This is the Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, on Alternative Talk, AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage and finance expert, Tina Mitchell. Welcome back to the Money Hour with your host and mortgage expert, Tina Mitchell, right here on 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, June 21st show. I'm committed to providing you knowledge needed to be successful in every area regarding your finances. Knowledge is power, and that's what you'll receive from listening to my show. And if you are hearing the show at a different time or day, you're listening to a rebroadcast to talk with me or any of the guests that I have in studio today, you can call into the show at one 855 Four hundred eleven fifty. Again, that's one eight five five four hundred eleven fifty, or online at themoneyhour dot com. And in studio right now, Andy Landis, nationally known author and speaker. Everything about Social Security that you need to know. Andy, so excited to have you back in in studio again. Thanks. It's great to be here, Tina. And so we're just focusing just on Social Security today. That's my thing. I love it. Little background on Andy. Andy has worked since 1977 with pre-retirees and retirees of Social Security, AARP, Warehouser Corporation, and his own practice, Thinking Retirement. Through Thinking Retirement, Andy leads Social Security, Medicare, and Retirement Seminars for Financial Planners, CPA, and Fortune 500 firms. He is the author of the book, Social Security, The Inside Story. Hale, and he's holding it in his hand right now, and I actually got a copy. I so much appreciate that. Uh, The Inside Story hailed as the best book on the topic, and also, When I Retire, A Guide to Design a Great Retirement Life. Both are available on Amazon. And Andy, I just want to start out right with your book, because I'm excited your new 2014 edition edition in Social Security, The Inside Story, is now available. Previous editions of the book going back to 1993 have been called the best book on Social Security and Medicare. And I know it's just one of those things that it's just getting better, right? I just try to keep improving it. It's been two years since the 2012 edition. It was time. Uh, A couple of updates and a couple of ways that I could say things better, make things a little more clear. So it's great to have it out, and it's being well-received so far in its first month out there. That is awesome. Congratulations to you. And, and you. if you're you're listening and you want to get a copy of uh, Andy's book, you can always go online to at themoneyhour.com and connect directly with uh, uh, with Andy, or you can order it, um, obviously, again, on, on Amazon. And if you want to talk to him, sometimes he actually talks to my listeners. Oh, He'll yeah. talk to you any sure. th- anytime. That was actually a, a little personal joke there. one 855 and you can talk directly to Andy. So Andy, if if your um, paycheck is interrupted by Social Security, they pay. And so I want to talk a little bit about that. And let's start out with retired workers. Okay. You're, first of all, you're right. Uh, when you pay your FICA taxes, you're okay. actually buying insurance on your paycheck. Uh-huh. And if your paycheck is interrupted by retirement, disability, or death, mm-hmm. that's when Social Security pays. So you brought up the big one. Retirement's the big one. And yes, a retired worker can draw Social Security as early as 62. Of course, you'll get more money if you wait till 66 or to really max it out, wait till 70 if you have Uh average life expectancy or above. So yeah, and if they pay you as a retired worker, pretty good chance they'll pay family members too. So let's, and and I I think it's going to want to go back really quickly before I go to my next uh, question that I want to ask you, um, that it's it's important to really know what your, the the best strategy, because I think a lot of people, they draw out their social security, they really are not understanding that that is going to make a drastic difference in what they're ultimately going to receive, and they really don't need it right now. And so I I think just really strategizing and and reading your book and understanding what the best, uh, you know, what the best things are to do, correct? It's true. You know, social security is like a new computer or a new phone. I mm-hmm. mean, you probably know how to turn it on, yeah. but do you really know the hidden features in wow, there? And that's I love a that. big deal. There's a there's a whole bunch of things you can do with Social Security that most people don't know. Hey, some of the stuff even Social Security doesn't know they can do. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> That is really, you know it. That's, so that makes yeah. it even more awesome. <laughs> and I'll tell so, you <laughs> how to tell them that they should know it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about a dis- uh, disabled worker. Okay. Most people don't know that uh, you are buying disability insurance with your with your paycheck deductions. And if you have a work history and can no longer work because of an mm-hmm. illness or an accident, if it's a serious disability, Social Security will pay you and your family members as long as that lasts. Okay. So it's pretty important to know about. 
Got it. And I'm a spouse and I have a spouse. Yeah, what about what too. about a spouse? Uh, spouses can draw Social Security if their other spouse, their working <laughs> spouse, is not working and, and draws Social Security, or if they're deceased, even at a very early age. Mm-hmm. Most people don't know that. I don't know how many 25-year-olds who are survivors because they've lost their spouse uh, have I talked to and said, yeah, we can pay you. You know, we can pay you while the kids are young and we can yeah. pay you again when you're retirement age. Wow. And they so didn't know. Really and they didn't know they that. They don't know. People yeah. don't know that. Yeah. That's, a, that's amazing. And so what about a, a child? Kids can get Social Security from birth in some cases. So if the child is under 18 mm-hmm. or they'll stretch that to 19 if they're in high school or if they're an adult, but they've been disabled since youth and they have a parent who is either on Social Security or deceased, okay. there's a 50% payment for the child. Wow. So, And, you know, I've got a friend that has two little kids under 10 years old mm-hmm. that are going to get paid through high school. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. So, yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. And so let's talk about those uh, ex-spouses out there. Former spouses. Interesting. You know, most former spouses I talk to know that they can get Social <laughs> yeah. Security on their ex. I never knew that before. It's pretty interesting. That doesn't mean yeah. you should go get a divorce, Tina. But <laughs> No, definitely not. No, definitely you not. You know Dave. <laughs> but, yeah, I do know Dave, and we don't want to see that happen. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, But the cool thing is, uh, when you go to file for Social Security, Social Security will ask, are you married? Do you have any kids in these categories? Okay. And do you have an ex-spouse? And if you say yes, and if you had a 10-year marriage before the divorce, Uh they'll try to pay you on that record, and maybe it pays better than what you thought you could get. So it's just one of the routes that's open. If you have an ex-spouse, they'll try to pay you on that. But But not if you're remarried. If you're no longer single, that won't work. Yes. You have to be ten yeah, years married. When I, when I and heard then this, single. when I heard this uh, on on a, 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 quite a few shows that we did, I was like, well, "What about my mom?" But she got remarried. But her oh. when my when my dad passed away, which you you know was just mm-hmm. last year, yeah. and his uh, his ex wife started collecting Social Security, and I was like, "What?" I just, how in the heck does that work? So it's yeah. amazing what we don't, you know, what we don't knew. She knew. <laughs> You know, if your mom had an earlier marriage, there's a chance she could draw on that one now. She should talk to Social Security. Uh, Earlier marriage, mean other than my dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she's only she was married. Yeah, she's married to my dad and her second one. But um, uh, she could draw on either one of her of her husbands now that she's single again. No, she's not single. My mistake. Yeah, I'm mistaken. No, no. Okay. It's all it's all good. Thank you. So lots of lots of things to look at it with you know to understand and make sure you're not missing out on an opportunity because I think a lot of people out there are they don't know that uh, that they can yeah. collect it. So let's talk about something different uh, for a widower of a deceased worker. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Well, first of all, for if you've had a loss like that, heaven forbid. But if you mm-hmm. have, Social Security could start at sixty, not sixty two. Mm-hmm. And it actually could start at any age if you have a child in care, okay. if you have a child under 16 in care. Um, you have to be single, or in that case, you could actually be remarried if the remarriage was after age 60. Okay. So I, you've heard me say before, if you're planning a wedding right before your 60th yeah. birthday, you might want to postpone it a couple of weeks to keep that door open. Timing on that is payment. everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even with Social Security. So you now even a parent of a deceased worker can collect on a, yeah, a Social Security? Yeah, that's really rare. The parent has okay. to be financially dependent, as defined by the IRS, okay. on the worker. So if, let's oh, say you're so supporting respons- your mom okay, got or it. your dad, mm-hmm. and then... Uh, you can no longer do that because you're retired or deceased. Yeah, the, well, I think it only works for deceased. Then the parent could file on your work record if it's a raise for them. So okay. it's very rare, but it's there. So, so Andy, how does a listener, if they are thinking about in the, about the, how do how do they get this information to make sure they're not missing out on? The Social Security website is good. It's a little daunting okay. because everything under the sun is on there. Mm-hmm. You could call Social Security and talk to them. They're okay. open on the phones from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. Don't call them in the middle of the day. They're always completely blitzed in the middle of the day. I don't uh-huh. mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> of course. They're just their phones well, everybody's, are busy. everybody's calling during the work hour. Exactly. Now, wait a second. So, Why are they calling during the work hour? Okay, another so, show. So, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so call at like eight in the morning or five uh-huh. in the afternoon. You'll get right in. Okay. Um, so the information's out there. Of course, a general guide like my book can mm-hmm. help. 
but Social Security is there to do that, too. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. Andy, let's talk about what's happening with Social Security fraud. Mm-hmm. What about the 50 people that pleaded guilty on there, Social Security fraud? There is something weird going on the last okay. couple of years where... When I worked at Social Security, disability fraud was extremely rare. Really? And you'd bust them if you could because yeah. nobody wants to see taxpayer money go to waste. Right, Lloyd? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you really want to bust them. But what's weird is that they're busting these giant cases. Like just this month in June, 50 people in New York pled guilty to Social Security fraud all in one case. And wow. I've never seen that kind of thing before the last year or so. So these were retired New York cops and firefighters. Oh, that's sad. faking. It is faking stress disability. Oh my god! Now gosh. it's got to be really stressful to do that kind of work for any police officer or firefighter. But it's horrible to think like they would amplify their symptoms oh. in order to get social. Security. But they got busted, and you know. A whole bunch of money was recovered. Uh-huh. Um, there was a similar case, uh, what, in 2013 in West Virginia. This was mm-hmm. the first mass case I ever heard of. And a whole bunch of people, I mean hundreds of people in this one county, were all getting disability. And interestingly enough, they were all working with the same doctor mm-hmm. and the same uh, lawyer and in some cases, the same Social Security judge. Really? Yeah, Ooh. it was all a big circle oh, to get scary. kickbacks. And they busted wow. them all. And it, I, hope they, I hope they all went to jail. They will. It's kind of reassuring when you really hate this kind of abuse yeah. to see them get busted. Yeah. The other big one recently mm-hmm. was 70 in Puerto Rico. 70 were indicted. That's not settled yet. Three doctors plus an SSA employee. Um, sometimes there's an insider working these things. Uh, so it's interesting. Well, Social Security's fighting back. So they did something I've never seen before. The fraud fighters were always spread out across the 10 um, regions in the country. Mm-hmm. Now they've got a single office that's going to fight these massive cases. And maybe that's why we're seeing these big busts lately. So is that the in March of 2014, the Social Security yeah, um, just, uh, fraud prevention you were talking about? Just last year, they mm-hmm. put together a national fraud prevention unit which is pretty amazing. Like I said, I've never seen that before, Uh, but they're doing it and they are looking for patterns so they can actually prevent fraud before it occurs. So that's great. So I'm sure they'll, they'll nip this in the, uh, in the butt here real soon. looks like they're nipping something. Yeah. 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 So anything you want to leave my listeners uh, with before I got to take us to a break, Andy? Yeah. Everybody needs to know how social security works because, you know, Tina is your expert on your financial Mm -hmm. safety and your financial uh, success and Social Security is the foundation of that. So yep. learn what you can. It's, it's everybody has paid for it. You've got to learn what you're buying. So that's probably the bottom line for everybody. I, I totally agree. And that's why I have you in studio on a regular basis, because I think it's such an important topic to uh, share with my listeners. And a uh, big extension of a hug across the table here mm. from you. And thanks again for, uh, for coming into studio. Thank you. Great opportunity. Okay. Look forward to talking with you soon. Coming up next on the Money Hour, here to give advice to anyone selling in today's real estate market, Greg Prill with Cold War Banker Bain, right here on 1150 AM KKNW after the short break. <laughs> 